What's up you guys? It's me. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to show you guys some of my fall fragrances that I'm planning on using this fall. So these are the fragrances that I just decided to pick up along the way for this fall. I'm really getting into my hygiene routine more and more every day. The most exciting thing to me is fragrance. So I have a couple here. Some of these I don't really pull out that often and I'm trying to convince myself to use for the fall time. So we're going to start out strong with one that I haven't used in a really long time. This is the Jo Malone Mimosa and Cardamom. I got this a couple of years ago at a Sephora in New York actually and I have not used it you guys. It is like literally dusty. I don't even know if you can see that but it's literally dusty. It smells really really fresh though. This just screams daytime to me and I have not used it after I think I've had this for like at least two years you guys so I really am going to force myself to use this in some type of setting this year maybe for the wedding at the end of this month I will use it it's a very classy very fresh non-offensive scent so I'm really excited to finally start using the Jo Malone scent. The next scent for fall will come as no surprise because I literally just talked about this a couple of videos ago in my fragrance haul. This is Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. You guys, I recently looked on Amazon to get a backup of this and tell me why it's not there. I keep clicking it. I don't know if it's sold out on Amazon or if they discontinued it or whatever, but best believe I will be getting another one of these. I found a couple on walmart.com, so I might have to get one from there because as you can see, my bottle is running a thin girl. Ever since I bought it, I have been wearing it every Every day everywhere I love it it smells like sophisticated apple pie that's the best way to describe it you really just need to go get you one okay we're living for her we love her we cannot live without her this fall it screams fall and winter Amazon needs to get it together I don't know if they're having like a restock or whatever they're doing but it's not listed on there right now and I really need them to do that so that I can get a backup because as you can see she is like halfway gone the next fragrance that I'm gonna wear this fall is definitely Choco Musk as you guys can see from my last video I have worn her quite a bit recently I love the Swiss Miss hot chocolate vanilla scented type of vibes this gives off. It just screams sweater, leggings, Uggs. I love it. It's such a just really, really good fall scent to wear. I like sweet scents if you can't tell already. That's why Miss Cardamom and Mimosa hasn't been used that much. I do like fresh scents just in the right setting, but my go-to scent is always a sweet. So I really enjoy this chocolate and vanilla scent. This is another Arabian perfume as well. If you guys are interested, this was literally $10 on Amazon. It is my cheapest perfume out of all the ones I'm going to show you today. Totally worth it even if you're just starting out because it is so affordable. Definitely recommend from Amazon. The next fragrance that I have to show you guys is one that you may have forgotten about a couple of years ago kkw fragrance came out with the diamond collection with her chloe and courtney and this is actually courtney's diamond i don't even know how to describe this but courtney's is definitely my favorite out of those three diamonds it's the only one that i purchased and i still have it after all these years it has a sweet yet spicy type of vibe to it that i really do love i can consider this a daytime fragrance for me for sure i could totally see myself wearing it through the night as well the diamond is just so so underrated i'm not exactly sure where you could pick this up at this point because i know that she did discontinue her fragrance line i really want her to bring it back though because i never got a chance to get that gardenia crystal that everybody has and i really want that i hope she comes out with fragrances in the near future but when she was popping in her fragrance era this was definitely one of my favorites by her next fragrance for fall this was in my recent perfume haul this is the fresh by machino uh fresh couture gold bottle it just smells real real peppery and floral normally i'm not a floral girl I actually smelled this on one of my co-workers recently she told me what she was wearing and I immediately bought it like the next day I actually recently just saw Haley Gamba talking about this for fall fragrances a couple of weeks ago it's definitely a spicy floral in the best way possible extremely distinct smell you will not be mistaken for any other fragrance if I smell this anywhere I will know exactly what you're wearing I definitely have to be in the mood to wear this because like I said I am more on the sweet fragrance side it takes a lot out of me to wear a fresh or a floral I have to be in the mood for it but this is definitely a floral that I would consider wearing. Okay, the next one, I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is Mod Vanilla by Ariana Grande. I do have another Ariana Grande fragrance here, but this one right here, if you know anything about me and my fragrance likes, I really do not like Cloud by Ariana Grande. I'm aware that a lot of people in the fragrance side of YouTube say that it dupes Baccarat Rouge or is like a really close dupe for it. I've actually never smelled Baccarat Rouge, you guys. I have no idea what that smells like, but I know that I don't really like Cloud. Mod Vanilla smells like a toned down version of Cloud with like a couple of different notes in there. 
I am not sure exactly why I prefer this one over Cloud, but this one is doable for me. It's not my favorite fragrance of all time. It definitely has more sweet notes than Cloud in my opinion. She's doing something to me. Like I could wear like, you know, a spray or two. It's extremely strong. It's definitely something that I don't need to spray all around. The Choco Musk scent, I could spray this all around my body every single day forever and be fine. This, I need like two or three sprays max before I get a headache. So I definitely need to be careful with Mod Vanilla, but it's definitely one that I would consider a day and tonight fragrance. Definitely one that I would consider like on the colder month side. I could possibly wear this in the summertime, but I just feel like for me personally, it's a little heavy. So I would prefer to wear this when it's a little bit colder. So Mod Vanilla is definitely something I'll be pulling out every now and then. One of my faves that I have not talked about on this channel, I don't think at all, Maybe I hauled it a couple years ago when I got it, but this is Eilish by Billie Eilish. Love this scent. This is the original. I know she came with another one. I have not smelled that, I don't think. Or if I did smell it, I don't think I liked it. It was like a black bottle version of this. I think that one is more on the masculine side, if I am remembering correctly. This is like the best vanilla scent you've ever had in your entire life. I definitely will be re-upping on this once it's finished. I know you can't really see because the way that the bottle is created, but this is like halfway done. This is a 3.4 ounce. It's just like such a mature, sophisticated vanilla. It's one of my favorites. Vanilla is my all-time favorite scent, and Billie Eilish really popped off. She did her thing with this one. And the last fragrance that I have that I'll be wearing this fall out of my collection is Miss Ariana Grande. I have the little version of this one. I think this is actually her first fragrance ever. This is the Ari by Ariana Grande. It is generally sweet, but it does have like a hint of like a sweet caramel warm undertone inviting scent i really love this i wore this the other day to work i just love the way it smells i could definitely see myself wearing this on a daily basis definitely could see myself wearing this on like a date night i am just a really big fan of a lot of ariana grande perfumes and i love all of them including mod vanilla not my favorite out of all of mine that i do possess but miss grande really does know what she's doing when it comes to perfumes in my opinion and i really love the original ari for the more colder months i don't really bust this out that much hence why I got the smallest bottle and I haven't really used it a lot since I purchased it but I do like it for the fall time I just love that dried down caramel warm sweet note that I get from this and it's definitely a go-to daytime scent for me this fall so that is it you guys that is everything that I have for my fall fragrances in my collection currently you guys know I am in the middle of a fragrance spree I'm in the middle of my fragrance era so I will be buying more fragrances this is everything that I have right now that I'm gonna be busting out throughout the last three months of 2023 isn't that insane we're almost in 2024 that's crazy but this is what i'm going to be wearing throughout the months of october november and december i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye